Where that steeple looks a little sideways. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, I know why you're standing here, aren't you? You were pontificating again about that big old steeple. <laughs> uh huh. I like it. I like it very much. Lord, we got plenty of churches in this town. I'm not sure we need enough. <laughs> Well, as far as I'm concerned, the more chances we have to save our souls, the better. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me fix that pie. <clears throat> You're going to look very fine at the dew till after this afternoon. I don't want to go. I'm tired of doing those things. You have to do those things. Why do I have to do those things? Because, Bucky. You are the person that everyone waits for. Nothing starts until you show up. <laughs> well, that's as it should be. However, how many more times do I have to go and do these things? Can't, can't these people figure it out by now on their own? <laughs> I think that if people could figure things out on their own, we wouldn't need six churches. <laughs> <laughs> Each person's only got one soul to be saved. I can't understand why they need to go from church to church to church. Are you going to find some different seeds? It's the same thing. Maybe I'm not a woman. Because if you were a woman, you would understand the, the concept of shopping. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like a little bit quiet, so I'll go over to the, you know, the back. Well, no, I go to the Baptist church for a great big old party. But I will go maybe over to that church and, and have a, a quiet time. And then maybe sometimes I need to go over to the Catholic church so that I can have my soul saved <laughs> in a very righteous, formal way. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to help or hinder to have one more church. So I think you might as well let it go. I'm fine. As long as everybody else in town is fine. And as long as we don't have to spend any money building it, I'm good with it. Our town's got no problems. We don't need to be spending money on something we really don't need. That's how I check. No, no, no. This town is not big enough to build a church without everybody helping. Lord, maybe you have missed this point. There's only one God, and there's only one soul per body. <laughs> and frankly, there's only so much God can do for all of us. Because we make it a big challenge for him every day. <laughs> so why do we need more? Just going to tie the poor old man out of there. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you want another one? I don't have one. Well, what about the people that don't believe in God? Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Do you take that? Take that off your Laura, head? I'm telling you right now. There are some souls that are completely lost. <laughs> Just because they like to have a good time and don't believe in the hereafter, I can't control their beings. So if they want to put themselves out there in such a way that they will end up not having a good, happy ending, uh, well, as they say overseas, a say la vie. <laughs> <laughs> Some 
something's going to happen to all of us, Bucky, that at least you ought to know by now. We ain't getting out of this alive. Besides which, for, for Jenna, the war was just a kind of temporary hold until her life got back together again. You mean until all the young boys came back from overseas. Right. <laughs> right. Hmm. Let me tell you about that. I'm so glad they came back when they did. I was kind of still looking under 40. But at the time, now, it's a lot harder to pass for under 40. Are you saying that you think you can pass for under 40? <laughs> Not any longer. That is exactly why I'm giving up then. <laughs> well, I wish you'd said that about 20 years ago. Back when you were making your reputation. Mm -hmm. Well, that be bad then. Back then it was fun still. But it's going to be harder now, isn't it? I mean, this is a small town. You can't just go out there and expect people not to know where you've been, what you've done, who you were. <laughs> You're almost going to have to reinvent yourself. But it won't be the first time. As a matter of fact, I was even considering. I got an application. An application? I did. That's a mighty big word for what? I was thinking about possibly becoming a nun. <laughs> <laughs> that shit has sailed. You cannot be a nun unless you are pure. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the Catholics say. Well, maybe I need to go to that new church over there, the one with the big white spot. No, the spider that's kindly cockeyed. Yeah, oh, steeple that's actually jumping over. I told you. Yeah, that one. It's that one. almost like it's got a little bit of crooked in it already, doesn't it? It definitely does. It says to me that this is the kind of church that would welcome a sinner such as myself. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. <clears throat> sister, you want to be a sister. <laughs> now, what I'm understanding. What I'm saying is that I'm researching my options. I see. First off, all that delightful red you're wearing now, <laughs> out of here. No What's way. What's with red? Nothing, except you ain't wearing it because you ain't that cardinal that that runs around with that red cap on his head and <laughs> red sashes and all that. So red and anywhere? Every, every, red anywhere? Never red nowhere. Every single nun wears something that's like black and white, and sometimes it's all white, and sometimes it's black day morning, or if it's like Jesus' crucifixion, then it's morning, so they're black. That's how it works. <laughs> I like my new red gloves. I like the genitals. You can buy them, too. No, they're quite lovely on you, but you ain't gonna be a nun, so don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, I'm not talking about wearing red as a nun. I'm talking about branching out a bit. Well, wait a minute. I feel a little feisty. What brought that on, might I ask? I don't know. Maybe, Maybe I'm not young anymore, either. Jenna <laughs> here. Here's a drink for you. Oh, thank Maybe you. Maybe a couple of your senses. Now let you ladies do some uh, girl talk. Maybe talk with some sense into each other. You should be getting on your way to that meeting. No, yes. Lucky me, another me. Uh, try to behave yourself and whatever you do. Don't try to fix the world while I'm gone. Tell Joe all about it. Hey, Doctor, this is the longest night of the evening. I'm leaving right now. I know you're leaving right now, but you were leaving right now 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Huh, now I will be. Remember, I don't know if you heard me tell Joe Bob I said, hey. He'll know why. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, uh, Sister Jenna. <laughs> All right. Get my old tail. I think you've been leading up to something from the moment you got in here today. You always could, Regine. 
It's almost like we're sisters right from the beginning, isn't it? Well, we were chosen that way, you know. It wasn't by blood. We've known each other, each other since we were what, in grammar school. So I know what you're feeling. That helps. I know what you're feeling. Oh, come on. I, just because I am married to a very nice man does not mean that I am happy every minute of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that part, but I doubt seriously that you would know how it feels to be the pound plump. I don't know that. I know. What I'm, what, what I'm trying to make you understand is that I think that women of a certain age, well, we just struggle. And we struggle whether we're single, we struggle whether we're married, but, but my God, can I just say out loud to you and to nobody else ever, if that marriage can be very, very boring. <laughs> like, boring. If I hear him say the same stories one more time, I swear, I will join him in that single <laughs> And what is it with red gloves? The men love red gloves. Not my husband. Well, your husband also off, off, off the up. That got my tongue. <laughs> Another drink? Oh, that's what I miss. That's what I miss. <laughs> your husband also believes that there should only be one church. Your husband also believes that the only way is his way. The only righteous thing is his perspective, his point of view, and that you and everybody else should have it. And if you don't, then you're terribly wrong and you're going to go to hell in an apple cart. <laughs> you seem very, very bitter today. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Didn't I think you wrong. did, though. Please I think you did. I know you're walking over it, but I think you are bitter. And I think you're unhappy. And I think we've got to do something. Which I'm not very good at, you know that. <laughs> Listen. I've been thinking about going on a trip. You can go with me. It's just a trip. We won't be gone long. I just think if I looked into it, I didn't really look into it about being a nun. I was just bugging him. I'm not going to be no nun. I was thinking we'd take a train ride. A train ride to Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada. They're opening up all these casinos out there. And people are coming there to spend money. And I can hear Bucky right now. The dead of iniquity. Sinners. Sin time. I don't know how many, how many adjectives he will come up with, but he will know all of them who are Las Vegas. He will indeed. That's why we won't tell him that we're going to Las Vegas. I can't do that. I can. I cannot do that, and you cannot do that. All you're doing is grasping at straws. You see, oh, I don't know, a nun, and you think that that's a way to all of a sudden give peace to your heart. You see Las Vegas, and you think, oh my God, that's going to be so exciting, my life will change forever. And then what happens? You said it yourself, you're not going away on a vacation, on a trip, you're coming back to the same place. Well, Miss Know-It-All, <laughs> what do you propose that I do? Since you've got your life so all together, married, Sunday school teacher, ex-president of the PTA after you retire, I was thinking about an article I read in the McCall's magazine, pretty, where it said, change can take place in one thing, making one change. I'm all ears. Well, I don't know what mine is yet. I just know I have to do it. I thought we were talking about me. Well, we were, <laughs> except that you asked what I would do, and we were right back on me, and I, I tried the red gloves, and, and that didn't work. Hmm. I'll tell you this right now. 
This is going nowhere. Our conversation, I came here, I was looking for answers. I wanted something to happen. Then say what you want to happen. I don't know what I want to happen. But that's hard to work with when you I, don't know what to happen. I don't know what I want to happen. I want to be 20 years younger. <laughs> that's what I want to happen. What about if you found someone you liked you just the way you were? Come on. Men don't like women my age. Men want young women. That's the problem. They don't recognize all this talent. <laughs> they want that face and that and that. <laughs> they don't want a mind. They don't want someone like me. I, I don't know what to say to you. Well, there's nothing much to say. I'll tell you this right now. I'm going to go downtown. I got an appointment at the hairdresser. What in tarnation? Have you two been up there? Don't you go. What have you been up there? Shopping. No shopping, nothing. I heard a lot of talk down at that meeting. Well, Bucky, have you heard what the ladies are up to in this town? And I said, well, I don't know. Probably going to see that new shoe store down. I don't know what else. That's it's a shopping store. It is not, Laura. I'll tell you what they said to me and to me. And there I am backtracking, trying to pretend like I didn't know who, because I did. You ladies are right, you two, probably the, at the center of it all, rousting up all the other women in this town, talking about going down to the mayor's office. That jackass can't even figure out how to put on his shoes correctly. He's trying to confuse the man. Oh, you know what we should do, Mr. Mayor? We should have a women's town council. Mm -hmm. We already got a town council, just like we already got enough churches in this town. And now, I have to answer for you two, and probably all the rest of the women in the women's organization. How do you think that makes me feel? Proud. Proud of what? Us. Lord, I can imagine my sister putting you up to this, because she's always been in that way. Don't be looking like that. You know I'm right. But the last thing I need is my wife being in the middle of some crazy activity, some rabble rousing. Next thing I know, y'all be burning your Brazilians. I don't need that. Nobody needs that. Bucky, we were just talking at the ladies' guild. That's all we were doing. And maybe we might have stopped by the mayor's office for a little chat. But the fact that you're saying we're rabble rousing the entire town is, is exaggerating for effect. Oh, you were all talking at this ladies' guild thing. It's what you were talking about. I'm, this is an issue. I am not listening to you go on and on. I'm going to talk about I am your husband. I know. I'll see you later. It'll be fine. I have no business with you anymore. Bucky, honey, you need to just... Don't you Bucky, honey, me. Get those under the collar there, brother. That was last week. What the hell have you been talking about since then? Oh, more important things, like getting old. <laughs> the line forms to the left. Welcome to the club. I know. And here's the thing. She started that stuff last week. She got a burr under her saddle and wanted to go out and make a difference. You know how she gets. I didn't do it. What do you mean? Making a difference in Calhoun, Georgia? Who the hell's making a difference in Calhoun, Georgia? Laura. Laura's talking to the women. Now, you could either do one or two things, brother. You can get on board with this and get happy and be proud. Are you going to go down like the rest of them when she sets her mind to something like that? I tried to get her to go out of town with me, but she won't do it. Back up just a second then. Get out of town? Just for a vacation. 
I thought it might cool her off a bit. The two of you? Yes, the two of us. Two women vacation? Yes. Without male escort? <laughs> oh, that's a whole other topic, and that's the problem right now. I was trying to calm her down. I knew your dander was going to get all riled up. Well, where are you going on this fabulous vacation? Don't go to Las Vegas. Good God, what? <laughs> but that's beside the point. I was trying to help you. I came up here for a purpose, and she smelled it right off. She said, you come in here with something on your mind. I could tell it. And I was fish, fishing around, fishing, crawling, crawling down, and trying to get out of it. Neither one of you are going to go to Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, don't you be saying that. That den of iniquity. Don't you be saying that. that. Capital of whorehouses. <laughs> don't you be saying that. I know what will happen to two of you. You'll get in there, and next thing you know, you two will start drinking alcohol and getting all crazy. You know what kind of men go to Las Vegas? <laughs> yeah, you know exactly what kind of men go to Las Vegas. I'm a fixin' to find out, I'll tell you that right now, because I'm not putting up with this. Before I was on your side, I was trying to calm that woman down and talk some sense into her. But the more I listen to you, the more I think she was right. <laughs> That's right, big brother. Your women, your sister, and your wife are getting the hell out of Calhoun for at least two weeks. Deal with it. <coughs> <laughs> My wife and sister in Las Vegas, Nevada. God knows what diseases they'll come back just breathing the air. <laughs> Was that a trip or what? <laughs> Awesome dragged in. Well, I thought you were going to at least say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> now, come on, wipe that crowd off. You haven't seen me in two weeks. I at least deserve a kiss. Yeah. All bad. Hardly. What's the problem now? They do not 
not enjoy a break? Did you not enjoy getting the work as late as you wanted to without me calling you and saying, please come home? Or dinner's cold? Or where do you want me to take your shirts and sweep? This after being the laughing stock of the town, did you have a nice time? We are going to play it that way, are we? What way is that, Lord? I don't think I'm the laughing stock of the town. No, you're not. I am. And I have people to answer to. Oh. And so this had nothing to do with me. This had nothing to do with the fact that your wife came back a different person. No, no, no. We had to set it down to be in a story about Bucky. Bucky, oh, Mr. Thompson. Because it's always going to be about Bucky, isn't it? It is going to be about how our family looks in this town, and now the two of you running off to that dangerous place with those dangerous people. There's nobody dangerous. Now that gambling and all those women, I've heard about them, running around with pasties on. Bucky, it was fun. What was fun about No, no, listen. It was so much fun because Nobody was there asking you what to order or wondering if the money was going to come in before the end of the day. It was just this, it was just this place where everybody was having fun. And Bucky, we haven't had fun in a long, long time. There's a reason people don't have fun. It's called life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not angry, Laura. I'm not. I'm disappointed. You're talking to me like I'm your little girl. No, more important. You're my wife. I am your wife, but I am not your possession. And that's a fine distinction, Mr. Buckminster. I didn't say you were my possession. You are another word. You are my pride and my joy. Well, you seeing you going well, out there. Nice. That's right, I live all nice. I'm always nice. Everybody says, I'm always nice. Fuck you, nice. Fuck you, nice. <laughs> Damn, we saw that. <laughs> I was worried about you every moment of every day. You and that sister of mine both get a little reckless sometimes. But more than that, what if something happened to you? You think I could just magically transport myself from Calhoun, Georgia to Las Vegas, Nevada. I couldn't be there to protect you. What if something happened to you? What? Never mind the fact that I was the laughing stock of the town. I'm going to give you a hug, but I'm still angry. Apparently <laughs> 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 you are too. I'm not angry. No, no, please. My turn. The floor is yours. Oh, I have to sit for my son. Uh, by the way. Yes? I want you to watch something. <laughs> <laughs> what in tarnation are those on your feet? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you two have gone to hell in a handbasket now. <laughs> look at your shoes. Yes, they're dignified. They're gentlemen's shoes. Well, look at them. Yeah, pretty nice look. Walk, walk, walk for me. Walk for me? Walk. <laughs> Let me hear from my crazy wife. <laughs> I should be one of those catalogs. Now yeah, walk with me. What did you notice that was different? Uh, you were able to keep up with my stride. Right! <laughs> uh, that's silly. That's just crazy. No, 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 that's so important, Bucky. That's so important. So you're not going to wear dignified lady shoes anymore? No, that's not. No. <sighs> <laughs> that's not the point. The point is that I am discovering and maybe I'm not exactly the woman that we thought I was when we got married. But Buckley, that's 30 years ago. And I, 
I took a trip to Vegas. Yes, I know. And I would have wanted you there so much. Every time I saw something fun, it said, oh, I wonder if Bucky would like this. Oh, I wish I could tell Bucky. So it wasn't that I was missing you so much as thinking about it. And thinking about how if you could just take the tiniest little break from your day, you would see that maybe you change a tiny little bit too. I don't want to shake up the town. You couldn't shake up the town. You built this town. But I want to change it. Oh. No, but it has to. Your sister, she's got skills. I know that they don't use that word for women. I understand that. But <laughs> she's got skills and she is so lost. <laughs> And we must find something for her because I don't want her to leave. I don't want her looking at Atlanta one ads and trying to find a man or trying to find something that to inspire her when all she needs is for someone to say, hey, Jenna, you fit right there. Well, she could start by straightening out that, that staple. Let me just. That steeple is telling me something, and I think you should look at it a little more often. Tell me it's going to fall over on something. Like you hear? Like you hear? I went down to the shoe store, Bob Johnson's shoe store. Yes, yes, yes. And I bought me a pair of sneakers. I got me a pair of sneakers. And guess what else? Well, there's a new shoe store man in that shoe store. Yes. He's retired. Moved out here to Calhoun for a little fresh air and thought he was a bored and went to work at the shoe store. And I have a date Saturday night. <laughs> yeah. All at the shoe store. Ta da! I got that. And but you're going to wear those on your date? You damn straight. He sold them to me. I think no, you two are going to start wearing pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Spencer Tracy just come to town real quick just to take a look at both of you. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Mama won't be changed. Doesn't matter. It matters what's inside. We feel free and it's show on the outside. It's high time. Tired of fitting into all this conformity. It's Fine. Fine. I'm too old to argue with both of you. The two of you ain't going to listen to any sense. There's no point in arguing this apart. Besides, before I came back over here, I had to deal with the gentleman over at the council. Hey, Buck, wouldn't that be something if we took a trip out to Las Vegas? Oh, that's all we need. There's every jackass in this town getting on a Greyhound bus going to Las Vegas. Now, I'll tell you one thing. Those girls with the pasties, they better be on the lookout for that. That's a lot of trouble, men from Cali Joe. <laughs> Well, I put my foot down on that. That's absolutely no way. No way. <laughs> Y'all boys are not getting on that bus. You ain't going to no Las Vegas. <laughs> to Las Vegas. Yes. Do it. I, we would just look after ourselves and you could go. There's lots of fun. <laughs> Those men have to be chaperone. Right. Nobody like you to kill buzz. <laughs> I'm going down to the feet store. That's where I'm going. Good to see you back mm -hmm. in one piece. Thank you, Mr. Bro. With your sneakers. <laughs> you. I'm glad you're back. Sleep and safe. I'm glad you're back. Fun. Relatively speaking. Oh, would you just want me? I'll be on there a little bit.
love his people. It's you and me. You have my heart. Yeah, wait.